All right, so uh, this is chapter 11 here. So metal costing processes and equipment. So another keynote lecture. Okay, so your review. Um, when we uh, do our expandable molds and also permanent pattern processes, right? We already understand they include sand, and then we have shell mold, and we have plaster mold, and we have a ceramic mold casting. Okay, so don't forget expandable mold. Okay, from here all the way to here, permanent pattern processes. Again, from here all the way to here, you're dealing with them. Okay, so sand, shell mold, plaster mold, ceramic mold, casting, the expendable mold, right? Permanent pattern processes, they require destruction, right? Again, destruction of the mold. So meaning like you have to destroy the mold, okay? Um, for each casting you are producing, okay? Again, sand, shell, plaster, ceramic, right? All of this destroy the mold after each casting. All right, we're going to make the mold. So in order for us to be able to make the mold, right, you got to understand like this is uh, this process, all right, production is facilitated, right, by reusable pattern, meaning like we can uh, use this pattern that we're making that mold for again and again. Okay. okay, so the next one is we're well, dealing with the loss firm and investment costing. They are also expendable, but the pattern is definitely not permanent, but expendable pattern. Okay, so let's see uh, what's the difference. So the difference is the pattern is consumed, all right, uh, for each mold produced. And then we're going to destroy right, the mold after each casting. So if you remember uh, the shell, right, the sand, the plaster, and the ceramic, at that time, um, they require the destruction of the mold right, for each casting uh, produced. But the mold production right, at that time right, for the uh, permanent pattern processes, the mold production is facilitated all right, by reusable patterns. All right, here, all right, the difference is don't get into this destruction, all right? That's the same. The pattern here is consumed. Okay? We can't be able to reuse. So for loss firm and investment costing, your pattern is not reusable. Okay, like in your permanent pattern, right? This is not permanent. This is an expandable pattern, right? No, don't forget that. That mold processes. So they have molds or dyes, right? They can be, um, you can use them, right, to produce castings at high, very, very high production rate. It's because um, these processes are using the permanent mold, right? That's why you've got a very high production rate, because the permanent molds are stronger, yeah? And they can produce costing, of course, at higher rate. Slush costing, your pressure costing, your dye costing, your centrifugal costing, they're all permanent mold processes, right? So expect very high production rate. So here you can see the molds and permanent mold costing. They're usually made or in metal or shining graphite. And um, they can be used again and again repeatedly to produce large number of parts. All right? we, make, we can be able to make a large number of parts by using permanent mold right? costing.
So component modes, they have um, different effects, all right? So fundamentally, they have different effects. On costing process, um, then your sand or all the aggregate more material, okay? Because they're made of metals, mostly. Um, because these metals, right, that we make the polymer molds, they're very good um, heat doctors, of course, thermal conductors. And they also do not allow the gases right, to escape. And those are the two reasons why um, they have different effects on costing. So permanent modes, metal modes, they're different from sand, they're different from other aggregate modes, materials. You think of heat conductors, okay? Because they're metal. When you think of, they're not going to allow the gases to escape. Okay, permanent mode costing. Of course, dye, right, and your equipment costs are very high because you can repeatedly use them for high production rate. And they are made of metal. They don't right, release all right, gases. So therefore, it's not going to mess up right, in your product. Processes are economical and for definitely large production runs. And that's the reason why, again, of course, you're dying, right? And equipment courses are very high. In permanent mold costing, you're scraps, right? We don't really get scraps in this costing. So scrap loss is low. Dimensional accuracy right, in your product is very high, so that's good. Surface, right? The good surface detail, you can be able to achieve it in this costing. Yeah. Costing processes. So here, I list them all for you. Squeeze costing, semi-solid metal forming, rapid solidification, costing of single crystal components. So what are these things? They're just the costing processes, all right, other than your our uh, traditional permanent mold costing. So in addition to permanent mold costing, uh, we have these costing processes, right? Squeeze costing is nothing but just a combination of costing and then you forge a little, right, in there. So cost and then forge, and we call that squeeze costing. Rapid solidification, the name is in it, yeah, rapid. So this process is used, and uh, we use it to produce amorphous alloys. All right, so let's get into the single crystal components, sorry, costing. So here are um, this costing is for turbine blades and silicon ingots, right? Um, for making wafers, right? We use them in an integrated circuit manufacturer. And um, for these things, we use particular costing process, and we call that single crystal components, right? Costing of single crystal components. Okay, so your melting process, making your metal into molten, melting, right, processing the control, are very important factors in costing operation, of course, because without the molten metal, you can't cost. And so they include a proper melting of the metals, preparation of alloying, removal of slag and dross, and um, also pouring the molten metal into the molds and inspection right, of costing. We always inspect anyway at the end of every operation that we do. So let's go over again. Melt, okay, proper melting. Then you're gonna prep your alloy. Of course, we don't want slag, so remove it. We don't want dross, remove it. Molten metal, right? You gotta pour that into the mold to make shape. At the end, you inspect, okay? So these are all melting processes. 
and of course we control them yeah controls are right here right here and right there yeah inspection is important uh, that's with all your qa qc qt and qs and the process is essential right so all the cues are quality yeah so it's very important essential of course to do so what are we doing so we're trying to find yeah internal and also external defects we don't want this in our products because this will cause you incredible amount of um, trouble if they reach right, your product with defect reach customers because you've got a refund and so those kind of things are external i mean like um, um defects especially it's pretty bad internal customer might not be able to find it sometimes um, until the function right breaks so external defects is more important and we don't want it as soon as your customer look at your product you will want it all right uh, perfect yeah so they can be able to be happy right to buy your products and they will buy from you again so that's what we call inspection processes and we do it in costing as well okay so additional processes after costing we call them the subsequent processing and they are okay mostly heat treatment um, and also machining of course to get really good surface yeah and that's done to produce a final desired shape and we want particular surface right characteristics so in order for us to be able to achieve it after costing operation we're going to process right further on our products so require surface finish and your dimensional accuracy of course Okay, so this is for a keynote, right, for your chapter 11, meta costing processes and your equipment. We're going to start right here.